Hey, what's up guys, Synapse here, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at WoW Model Viewer, and I'm gonna give you an update. There's been a lot of people asking me questions about how I export my models from WoW into After Effects and Cinema 4D. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. And if you want some more information, go check out my website. I've got a lot of free resources and tutorials to help you guys improve the quality of your YouTube videos, as well as your live stream. I've also got premium content up on the members website. Uh, with downloads and exclusive behind the scenes stuff and i've also got some tips on how to make machinima studio work all right let's get into it so first thing you got to do bring up google and search for wow model viewer wow model viewer is great we're looking at transmogs and finding gear we're going to look at this link right here it's the first one on google it's download wow model viewer and what we're looking for as of today right here the newest version, which is 0.8.0 beta 10. Bookmark this website because there's always updates. There's probably a new update in the works as we speak. And here's the WoW Model Viewer installer. Just click on that, download that file. Once this downloads, now you can install it. Once you get it downloaded and installed, double click on WoW Model Viewer and it asks you, do you want to load World of Warcraft? Click yes. And it takes a couple of moments to load. Keep in mind, you have to have World of Warcraft installed in order for this to work. Now we're good to go and you can start looking through all of the different characters that are here and all of the different models. If you want to download your own model, you can go up here to the character and say import armory character. You can enter your armory URL in there and it should start loading. And here we go. This is Bajira's character. I've been working with this one lately. And here, I'll try to download my character. But those new shoulders are pretty cool for Paladin. All right, so after you get your character in there, let's say you want to save it. You go to Save Character and uh, find a place to save it. And there you go. You can also load characters by going up to the Character menu and selecting Load. And it should load it up. There's an example of an Orc Guard that we created for the Bajira intro. That's pretty cool. So what happens if you want to export these in 3D and you want to open them up using Cinema 4D? Well, we can do that too. We go here to export model and OBJ is non-animated. So if you just want weapons and gear and stuff like that to export, you can use OBJ. Uh, if you want the animations with the skeleton fully rigged, you can go FBX. Although the fully rigged skeletons are kind of weird in this version, they don't work all the way, but uh, many of them do. So I'll show you what that's like. Let's go to FBX and let me find a place to save it. And uh, just select one at a time. It's a little bit glitchy, this version. So the export is done. Now I'm going to open up Cinema 4D. And Blender and other 3D programs will open up FBX, just so you know. Click OK and click OK. And here's our orc. Awesome. And he's walking. Sweet. You can see all of the bones. Uh, this is something that's really cool about Blizzard. When you export the bones, you get all the bones and there's all kinds of stuff there. There's bones and part of the skeleton, even for the beard. So that as he walks, the beard kind of swings from side to side. Pretty cool, huh? And if we export this guy as an OBJ, export is complete and we can open it up in Cinema 4D. And you can see by default, it looks like this. Uh, the textures are not applied yet. You have to apply them yourself, but it's not so hard to do that. You just have to select the object and look what the object is called. This one is the shoulders. Navigate to the folder and select the shoulders. There they are and they appear. So it's a little bit tedious to apply the shoulders to each one, but you can see it says shoulder there and there's really only a few to pick from. And you have to do that for each one, unless you have a special importer, which imports these for you automatically. You may have to do them manually. No big deal. So you can take the shoulders from the OBJ and bring them into the FBX if you wanted. That'll be a different tutorial on how to rig those. I've already done a tutorial on that. So check my rigging tutorials for that info. Let's say you don't have a 3D program, but you just want to take a picture of your tune for maybe a background or a wallpaper. You can change the background color and then just key out the color or use a use chroma key to key out that color. For example, you can set the background to green 
Uh, you can go to view, background color, and you can change the color. You can go here to the custom colors, change the background to green, and now you can chroma key or key out the background for your Photoshop or machinima needs. If green doesn't work, you can also use blue because depending on what color the character is, uh, you might need to use a green or possibly a blue can also work sometimes. For this guy, his gear is blue, so you would not want to use blue. You'd want to use green and only use blue if you absolutely have to. All right, that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any questions about how WoW Model Viewer works. Check out my website and YouTube channel for some more tutorials and free content to help you guys improve the quality of your YouTube videos. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and helping me to create more content. I'll see you guys next time. Good luck and have fun.